Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is leftmost column with at least a 1. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. Question says a binary matrix means that all elements are 0 or 1. For each individual row of the matrix, this row is sorted in non-decreasing order. Given a row sorted binary matrix, binary matrix written leftmost column index 0 with at least a 1 in it if such index doesn't exist written minus 1 and you cannot access the binary matrix directly you may only access the matrix using binary matrix interface and what we are given binary matrix dot get returns the element of the matrix at index x and y and we have another function binary matrix dot dimension it will return the a list of two elements which will be the dimension and we are given with example you can clearly see the rows are in the non decreasing order and we can clearly see this is the first column in which we have just one one so we return zero if you look at example number two this is the column in which we have single one so we return one if you look at example number three we don't have any column which contain a one so that's why we return minus one and if you look at example number 4, this is the column in which we have a single one. So that's why we return 1. So let's move on to pen and paper and let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example. I have taken a matrix. And in the question, we are given with two functions. One is dimension. It will give the dimension of the matrix. And one is dot get. It will give us the value of at any particular index and the question says we need to find out the leftmost column which have a single one and if we see it here this is the column so how we can get that so for now if I say that hey first of all get the rows and columns from the dimension I will get the how many rows and how many columns I have then I will say set answer equal to value of column whatsoever is the value so the value here is 3 so I am setting this as the answer and now what I will do I will go to every single row and I will check the first occurrence of 1 I came here so the first occurrence is at 3 so what I will do, I will compare 3 and my answer 3 and whatsoever is minimum, I will take that. So answer will remain 3. I come to second row and I check the first occurrence of 1. So my first occurrence is here, which is 2. So I will compare 2 and 3. So my answer will become 2 now. I come to third row I will look for the first sequence of 1 which is 1 then again I will compare 1 and 2 so my answer will become 1 and I will come to last row and I will check what is the first sequence of 1 so we don't have any 1 so we don't have any occurrence so at the end I will simply return 1 so this was the brute force approach I can simply go through each row and I will check the first occurrence every time and whatsoever with the minimum first occurrence we will get we will return that value so let's see a slightly better approach so this is the matrix and the rule is whenever I see one I will move in the left direction and whenever I see zero I will move down and at the end, where I am, wheresoever I am, I will return where plus 1. And let's see it. So, I will start from here. So, I have 1. So, what I need to do? I will move left. I got 0. What I will do? I will move down. Again, I get 1. I will move left. I got 0, I will move down. Again, I got 1, 
what i will do i'll move left now i will pull down so i came here and what i will return so where i am at zero what i will return where plus 1 so i will return 1 and this is the column in which we have the and this is the leftmost column in which we have single occurrence of 1 let's move to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's see the code so at line number 5 we are defined with binary matrix class we are given with get function and the dimension function and at line number 11 i am using the dimension to get my rows and columns so this will give me the dimension of how many rows and how many columns i have at line number 13 i am defining my current row which is 0 and my current column will be length of column minus 1 so if you check where i am i am in the last column and first row and at line number 5 i am taking a condition while current row is less than row and my current column is greater than 0 and if so i am using the binary matrix dot get function to get the value of my current row and current column value and if that part is equal to 0 that means we need to go down so what i will do i will simply increase the number of my current row else that means i have one so what i need to do in one we need to move in left direction so what i will do i will simply reduce my column value by one and at the end if my current column is not equal to column minus one that means if i am not in the last column so what we are doing if we have zero we will keep coming down and down and down so what where i will end up i will simply end up in the last column so if that is not the case so what i will do i will simply return where plus 1 so what is the current location of my column plus 1 else i will simply return minus 1 so let's see whether it works or not so here i have submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the solution for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe